Hi everyone, Frederick here, Simple System Trading. There's a new study released, it's called the Trendline Signal Study. It's available through the link below. You can get a 10 day free trial to test it out. It's included in the Auto Trading Study Bundle and in the All-in-One Study Bundle. So if you are on one of those bundles, you already see it in your custom study list. So this Trendline Signal Study is loaded on this uh, five minute chart and I will demonstrate what this study does. If you have it loaded and active uh, you should use the ray tool. Uh, if you want to draw a trend line use the ray tool and this study will detect that last drawn ray tool. It will convert the line into a subgraph. You can see right here that's the two values window right here you will see if I hover over that line you will see the last drawn ray subgraph so the study converts the ray into a subgraph so you can draw a horizontal line here the second line is also detected so the study has two settings two lines or one line it currently is in two lines so it will detect the last two drawn rays. If I were to draw a third one, then the first I ever used will be turning green. That's the dormant trend line. Those properties can be set in the subgraph settings of an active trend line and a dormant trend line. So in this case, the study detects the last two drawn ray values converts them into subgraphs and generates signals you see the arrows here I will get back to that in a bit so what can you use this study for well you can use it to draw your trend line use the signal study to enter a trade or use the, the trend line to manage your trail stop for instance if you would be on a on a longer term trend line, you're in that trade, you could use the subgraph from a drawing you made to basically trail your stop. Since it's a subgraph, the other trader can use that as a reference value. So that's uh, useful for people that trade that way. The signal study can also be very useful if that's something you would like to do. You can use it to signal your entry. And the signal subgraph can be used with the other trading study to automatically get you into a trade based on a drawn line. So how does that signal work? So we set that ray tool again. We draw that trend line and we see these arrows appear. The arrows appear when price moves away a certain distance from the trend line, then retraces within the set trigger distance. So in our study settings, we have a ready distance of eight and a trigger distance of two. That will determine if we're gonna see a signal. And the ready distance can also be set based on a percentage from the price level. In this case, we set it to 8 ticks, which will <coughs> generate a signal if price moves away. 8 ticks from the trend line comes back within the trigger distance. So here we move it down from the trend line, come back in, get a short signal. The same here. And you can use it on both lines. So if you have the two line option uh, working, you will get signals on both lines. In a future video, I will show you a few examples how you can hook this study up to the other trader study and automatically uh, trade these lines. So the study is controlled by a, a button to turn it on and off. So if you go into the settings, you 
can associate an advanced custom study button that's added to your control bar to function as your on and off button. You can adjust the text that's displayed in the button and you can adjust the colors of the background based on the status. In this case green is on, red is off. You see that button here load, located on my control bar. You can customize your control bar if you don't have an advanced custom study button added. You can go here to advanced custom study buttons and add your button to your control bar. I've added number one to six here and number one is used by this study. If I click the button it will toggle between on and off. Right now the study is on, right now the study is off. If you are having active lines, you turn the study off, the lines will remain active until you make a change. So if you erase this, you will see that there's a change detected and it will make the line remaining dormant. If I add a new line, nothing happens, studies off, we don't have anything to do. We turn it on again, the last two added lines will be used as the new lines to track. If you make changes, they will be reflected in the results. So that's the on and off button. Um, the study detects lines that are only drawn on this chart. So if you overlay a line from another chart, it will not be detected. You have to draw it here. So maybe you want to use a higher time frame chart to actually uh, use that uh, longer term trend line and see it on your uh, trading chart. Now you can already do that. Let's have a look. Right now I have the 15 minute on the right. It doesn't have any studies loaded. What it does have is a chart setting to basically get a copy of all the drawings from chart number one. As you can see, there's blue lines here uh, represented here on the lower time frame. So what you could do is <clears throat> use that higher time frame to adjust the trend line to something of a longer term thing. And you adjust it and you can trade it on your lower time frame chart. See, the adjusted line here is still visible and active on the lower time frame. So that way you could modify your longer term trend lines on the high time frame, but they originate still from the lower time frame, so the uh, signal study can work with it. So that's what you could do for your higher time frame needs. I think I covered everything of this new study. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, if you have any requests for future videos. I will use uh, this study in the next video on the other trader study so you can see the signal study in action. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Hit reply on the email. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, YouTube. I will uh, try to answer you as quickly as possible. Uh, thank you and uh, have a great one. Bye-bye.